Bridge collections are something that I use myself quite a bit. It allows me to easily collect images in one place from a number of different folder locations and drives, simply with drag and drop. Once we have that collection in one place, it's very easy to copy them to another location, leaving our original images completely untouched. I use collections to identify images for my audiovisual presentations, for locating and storing content for videos like this one, and to locate and evaluate images for Camera Club competitions. Now my collections are tucked away down at the bottom left corner of the screen because all of the screens within Bridge are easily changeable. And as you can see, as I mouse over the edge here, I can drag up my collections and you'll notice that I've got a couple there already, but we're going to create something new. So I'm going to pick a number of different images from different folders here. There's a couple of ways we can begin. We can just select an image and then create the collection, or we can create the collection first. Now I'm going to select this thumbnail. I'm going to go down to the bottom here. We've got two ways to create collections. One is called Smart Collections. I've never found the need to use this. Far too complex for anything I need. This is the one I use. So if I click that, I'm given the opportunity here to give it a name. Now I'll just call this Selected Images. And we've got a little tick box and we're just being asked here, do we want to include this image into our collection? On this occasion, let's assume we do. When I click OK, now I only see that image. Don't worry, all you need to do here is to go to your back arrow at the top left and we can jump back to the same folder we was working from. But if you look down at the bottom left, you've now got your collection created and it's showing us that it's got one image within that collection. And all we need to do from here on in is to pick an image that we think is appropriate for the project we're working on and drag it into the selected images folder. If there's more than one image that we want to select, then why not use the shift click? Select the first image, the last one, hold the shift key, it'll select all those in between, and now we can drag a batch of images into our collection. You'll notice that Bridge won't drag the same image into your collection twice. For example, if I were to mistakenly select this image, which I've already dragged in, and I try to drag it again, then you can see the number doesn't increase. So that's a good indicator that we've already selected the image. So as you can see, I can jump from folder to folder. I can select the images that I want and I can drag them into my collection. Now these can be over a number of years. As you can see, I've got pictures going back the entire time I've been shooting digital. So it's pretty quick and easy to select one or a number of images for our collection. Now at any time, of course, we can just go down to this section at the bottom left, click on the collection we've made. There we can now see just those images isolated. Now, just one word of warning. If you have a collection as I have here, and then you suddenly decide that this image is no longer required in your collection, do not delete that file because if you do you'll be deleting it from your computer because as yet all this collection is is a link to this image wherever it was previously located. So it's going to happen isn't it that we choose images and then change our mind so I can select one or many, go to the top right and remove them from the collection and there we have it. They are removed but we can be confident we have not taken anything that we require off our computer. Now remember when we was looking at labels in another one of these videos, 
In the collection section of Bridge, we can still open these images up for screen. So if I wanted to evaluate, let's say, these four images, I know I want a couple of them, but maybe not all of them, then I can select one, I can hit the space bar, and we get to see the image for screen. I also get the opportunity to scroll exactly the same to the right using the cursor control keys. And I didn't say this in the previous video, but even here, if this was a definite image I wanted to include, I could touch the number eight key here and award that a green label so it stands out for me. This one I quite like, I'm gonna hit eight for that. And maybe I wouldn't label this one, and maybe not this one. When I touch the space bar again, then I know these two images are not required in my collection, and I can remove them with the button top right. Now, if you're picking images for camera club competitions, I think collections are pretty good for that too. You can see I've got a couple here which are live at the time of recording, October 2023. Here you can see Aussie Landscape. There's a trophy coming up at the end of the year in my camera club. And the set subject is landscape, Australian landscape. You'll notice all of these images have been labeled with a green label. If you don't want that anymore, I'm just going to select one, Control A to select all of them, right click, and I can go to labels and say, no labels, and they'll all be removed. Now, the reason I like this method is because I can come back into my Aussie landscape collection at any time, and I can scan the images that I have on screen. Because if you do this one or two weeks before the competition deadline, then you'll find that the best images usually stand out. So at this stage, I could be making decisions such as, well, there's a couple here which I probably definitely wouldn't use. I probably wouldn't use this one or this one. And I can only choose one of these two. So let me just remove these two from my collection. But then these two, I may need to just hit that space bar and evaluate the image. Skip to the next one and evaluate that. And I can go backwards and forwards to pick the image that I like. Now I like this one on the left because I like the way the clouds all the way around the top seem to make a nice natural frame. So once again, if I wanted to apply a color label, remember red is applied with the six key, yellow with the seven key, green with the eight and blue with the nine. Spacebar key takes us back. And now the image that I've chosen has a blue label and I could highlight this one and remove it. I like to make my decisions over time and I just inadvertently double clicked an image there. And as you can see, Photoshop has been launched and the image will appear. Coming back to Bridge and my collections, there's another one here the Don Atri Nature Trophy. So you can see I've got just four images here. And once again, I don't really need those labels. And there you can see they're removed pretty quickly. Now at some stage, of course, we have to copy the images we've carefully collected into a different location. And make sure they are copies because now we can safely go ahead if we needed to reduce the size or make any changes to them. We know our originals are safe. These four are already selected as you can see. So I'm going to right click, choose to copy to, choose a folder. I've created a folder on my desktop. I've used the same name as the collection we created, selected images. So I'll double click that, select the folder, and in that instant, those four images have been copied into that location for me. So now with these four images selected, I could remove them from my collection because what I'd need to do now is to go to my desktop and selected images just to make sure that the images I think should be there 
are actually in place. Collections are a practical and useful tool within Bridge. I'll see you next time.